look at that. It's our logo done by Ma uh, Michael Philippi. Wow. Gosh knows what is going on. I like the way they always do the charges towards you. So this is a um, different podcast than usual. It's actually our emergency podcast. We were supposed to do a completely different one, uh, but then Jeff Hickman decided to go to China. Uh, and so we, we we brought this one out and released it early. What, you, what we're actually seeing there is one of our um, artists, Jonathan, um, great guy, and uh, this is a time-lapse photography of him building what will ultimately become the Bright Wizards uh, College in Altdorf. And we thought it was really, really neat. And we thought, gosh, we should um, we should let people see that, actually see the see the work in progress and the action, how cool it was. Uh, there's one drawback, which is when you get about one minute, 20 seconds into it, you go, does it actually do anything else, this? Or is it really just going to paint that entire tower? Uh, so our wonderful um, evil marketing department said, well, what we need to do is we need to get everyone who's involved in the process and get them into a room. We'll do like a director's commentary so that we can you know, comment and people can get insights on it. So we organized it, and uh, I'm the only person who turned up. So the... the that's laughing from the sound. So uh, the entire director's commentary comprises of me um, filling in for the bits uh, where I pretend I'm an artist and pretend I'm the art director and the guy's putting this... It's quite nice, isn't it? Um, putting this together. So... Uh, what, what this is, is um, uh, one of the key features of Altdorf. Now, Altdorf is one of our big cities, the Empire City. It's absolutely immense and cool, obviously. And when we're putting it together, um, what you find on these projects is these people called development directors, known as bureaucratic adults and parents, people who are paid money to say, no, you can't do that, tell you how you can build these wondrous things so that it doesn't cost a gajillion dollars uh, and take 28 years. And by the time they'd finished going through the policy, they had managed to not have um, the College of Bright Wizardry in. Um, mostly because it was going to be too big, and it was going to take too long to build, and did we really, really need it? And so as creative director, I was pushed into a room and I was told to argue with them. Um, and I tried to explain it like this. I said, um, Altdorf is like Paris. Um, if you were to try and to make a model of Paris, what you could do is you could go out and get loads of little boxes. And you could put them on the floor and go, they're basically the houses of Paris, and you could basically get a roll of toilet paper, and you could roll it out, and so that's basically a road in Paris, and then you'd have an inflatable model of the Eiffel Tower, and you'd stick it on the ground, at which point you could bring in almost anyone in the world, and show them and say, what city is that? And they would look at it and go, it's Paris. How do you know that? Well, there's an Eiffel Tower, and you go, that's what I'm talking about. What is Altdorf? Um, it's the College of Bright Wizardry. It's like Altdorf's Eiffel Tower, so we've got to have it. Um, so we then they went off and they looked for a load of artwork, and they found a piece done by John, um, and it was terrible. Um, it was an awful piece of artwork, because uh, Jonathan had to knock it out in like ten minutes, and did it all in straight lines, some grey background. It was done really early on, and had been chucked in a folder. Um, and they said, well, we could build this! And I said, no, 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 no. No, no, it's a great big thing that spouts lava and is cool. Um, so I was given the happy task of going up to see John and explaining to him that his original picture was in fact pathetic and could he dig deeper and he was so happy uh, that he didn't talk to me for 48 hours and when he did open his mouth to talk about me he basically just swore or threatened to do violence to me um, and then he sat down and what I always like to think is if you go back to the beginning of this and you see all that really quick bit where he paints really quickly I imagine that Jonathan uh, was just running through his head vicious swear words and stabbing actions with his stylus and imagining that he was poking it into my skull and going, oh, I don't like him. In fact, I can do my painted John impression. I don't like a guy and then he made me redraw it and, and then I, it was cool and I don't want to draw it again and I, I hate him. I'm going to draw really hard and he sort of talks like that. Um, he doesn't really, but it's the closest I can get. Um, so John went off and redrew it and I think the tower he's drawn is absolutely spectacular. Um, I mean, it's tremendous. It's a shame you can't see the original one because um, the difference between what he originally drew and this one is so great that even though I had to go through 48 hours of effectively not meeting him in a car park for fear of um, having my arms broken, um, he's done something that I think he could be truly um, proud of. So he shipped it off to Games Workshop and uh, it's a good example of what we have to do with the IP because the tower itself looks not it's, not, it's never particularly been drawn, no one really knows what it looks like. And there was all these sort of things that it's supposed to have. Um, and we said, this is what we've done. And Games Workshop had a good look at it, and it went up to the highest powers, and they came back and they said, that's fantastic. Which it is. 
Not bad, eh? Go back and watch it again.